If you want one of these beautiful wooden flags that are behind me or one of your own pre-made or custom made, go to my friends over at BHE Designs. A link to their site will be in the description box. Click on the link, order what you like, and tell them that ABL sent you. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about Marty Griffin over at KDKA AM Pittsburgh getting into some hot water due to quote unquote misgendering the Pennsylvania Department of Health Secretary, Dr. Rachel Levin. Rachel is a biological man that now identifies as a woman. Not sure when the transition happened. I don't really know if he or they i don't want to assume their gender i could say she but that might not be their gender pronoun so i'll just say they to be politically correct anyway they rachel may have already known marty before this they may be looking like you know lou Ferrigno in 2017 now all of a sudden looking like you know um steven tyler plus about 75 pounds so it's kind of confusing. You might not know what's going on, but I digress. My whole point is that Marty is in some hot water and some big trouble because he misgendered this person during the call. Now, I got to back up a little bit here to explain what's going on and why people are upset, why people are canceling shows with Marty and whatnot. Now, this was during a press call for the virus. OK, I guess. Rachel is giving out information about the virus, uh, how many cases, deaths, X, Y, and Z there have been. And during the press call, I guess Marty was able to ask some questions. He may have asked one question, then a follow-up question. In that short period of time, he allegedly said, sir, like three times, according to some kind of watchdog. Now, what kind of watchdog organization counts how many times you say sir to a person that is biological male but identifies as i'm presumed female i don't really know so i digress my whole point is that the you know micromanaging of somebody's language is kind of crazy now marty apologized on twitter saying hey i didn't mean to do it i'm sorry you know i got six things going on right now it's my mistake my fault but that's not really enough uh, Rachel's talking about, oh, uh, that was super offensive. I'm, I'm offended. I'll listen that in the third. But look, I'm not sure how long you've been identifying as this, but if you were just, you know, male appearing, like I said, on a Schwarzenegger uh, or whatever two years ago, now all of a sudden you're not, but you don't know that much different, it'd be hard for somebody to just remember to call you a different pronoun. And I don't know what your pronouns are. I could say she or her and still be wrong. You might want to identify as Z, Zir, uh, AH, attack helicopter. I don't know, so I'll move on. I actually have spoken to Marty before. I did an interview with Marty and his co-host, Wendy Bell, last year. And if you want to hear that interview, I'll link to it in the box. Uh, one thing about the interview that kind of stuck out was that Marty was more of the liberal and Wendy was more the conservative. You understand? He was asking me questions about being black and supporting Trump. He was like, well, there's a very small portion of black folks that vote for Trump. Like he was more of a liberal guy. You know, people were in the comments were getting offended by the questions he was asking. I was not getting offended. He was asking me some good questions, but they had a kind of a rough edge to it because he's kind of more of a liberal guy. OK, just doesn't based upon our interaction. I would not think he'd be the guy that people on the left would try to attack for anything. All right. But I guess there is a history here of Marty saying stuff like this. Um, I think in 2014, he was talking about Chelsea Manning and referred to them again. I don't know the gender pronouns anyway, referred to them as Mr. Bradley. And then he was like, well, that's some kind of weird sex change thing like a year or so ago. You know, because at that point, the dude had just the person had just transitioned. You understand? So it was like, maybe I might get it wrong. My fault. Sue me. But to think that this guy is like going to be out there with malicious intent trying to attack people, it's not even about that. It's about if you look male still and I knew you as a male, I mean, I might just call you sir. I'm sorry. My fault. You know, I don't think it really meant anything by it. But you know what? I think the attack on Marty Griffin and KDKA also, Wendy Bell is co-host is because of other things they've said in the past. Like I said, the whole Bradley, Chelsea Manning, Kerfuffle back in 2014. And then Wendy Bell from this year who said 
we shouldn't shut down the whole nation because of this virus that kills less than one percent of the population that's a fact i mean i just saw the numbers today they're talking about there are three million more people that have filed for unemployment so you're talking about what 36 million that have filed for unemployment at what point do we say open the country and we can't have any more job loss you got to go to 50 million unemployed 60 million unemployed when's the actual cutoff point where we say enough is enough Let's get back to work, okay? And if you don't reopen the schools, that kind of will continue because the parents can't work, you know, like, because they got to stay home with the kids. So you're going to have more unemployment happens as a result. We got to get back to normal. It's just really kind of simple. But I'll move on. Wendy Bell, some years ago, it might have been last year, year before that. It was a while ago. I think I did a video about it on my channel when it happened. Uh, there was a black family in Pittsburgh or in the Pittsburgh area that got killed. I'm talking about the whole family, five people. Matter of fact, there were six that got killed because one person was pregnant. So the unborn, that's six, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below. And she went off. She was like, look, I know y'all know something about it. Let's not play no game. Somebody got to come forward. You know, she was sick of the violence she sees among the black community and in Pittsburgh in general and said something about it. And I commended her for being brave and speaking out because not enough people say anything. They would just kind of gloss over that like it ain't nothing and not even care. You know, that's why I was talking about with the situation with Amal Arbery. It's like if the victim were white and the shooters are black, nobody would care at all. OK, matter of fact, if you were to say something about it, you'd be called a racist the same way that she was called a racist. OK, and I think at that time she was on TV saying that that's why she's now over on the radio. And I think people still kind of got a grudge against her because of that comment and other things that they have said. You know, God forbid you want to be conservative and say what is on your mind and be factual. OK, and Marty is not even really conservative. He's more of a left leaning centrist at best or just a straight up liberal. Okay, I called you, sir. Oh, big whoop. You look like you were a man yesterday. You understand what I'm saying? Sorry, I called you the wrong thing. It is what it is. So as I close, I want to say this. You shouldn't be attacked for using the quote-unquote wrong pronoun. I don't know what your pronouns are, really, anyway. I could say she, her, and still be wrong if you identify as a woman when you're born a man. You know, especially if it's a recent thing, if I've not known you to be this way, like if I've been in Pittsburgh for a long time covering the news, I spoke to you before and for like 15 years, you've been, um, you know, Johnny Bravo. Now, all of a sudden, you're not. I mean, what you want me to do? I might make a mistake. Sorry, but I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you do you think Marty Griffin should be in trouble for the whole misgendering thing? If that's your viewpoint, let me know why in the comments below. Or should it not be any real thing? It's kind of a nothing burger. Much to do about nothing. Uh, how do you feel about him being targeted because he's on KDKA with Wendy Bell? And they've said some things in the past that could be considered controversial. Is it retaliation? Because what I've seen lately when you're talking about people that are in the media, high profile figures, is that they'll kind of get attacked because of a thing they said recently. But the attack is not about that thing. People don't really care about that thing. It's about things they've said in the past. People got access to grind. People holding grudges for years and years and years from things in the past. That's what's going on. It's not even about what's happening right now. Am I right in my assertion? Am I wrong in my assertion? Whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.